as it blitzes alongside a rail slicing through Southern California's Ansaborego Desert, the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor sashays gently side to side, its wide all-terrain tires tracking the bumps and ruts in the sandy trail. The ventilated seats are set to high, while our hands twitch the wheel back and forth with minor corrections to keep the truck pointed straight. Well, straight-ish. We're creating quite the dust cloud, but that's less because of the swinging hips than our proximity to the speed governor. The Raptor doesn't need to be traveling at triple digits through the desert to amaze, but it certainly helps. For example, its new twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 and 10-speed automatic transmission help the Raptor to amaze in a straight line. Its turbochargers whistle more boost, up to 18 side, into the manifold than do those of the regular F-150S 3.5-liter EcoBoost mill, which itself has been updated for 2017. Combined with a new aluminum block, upgraded internals, port and direct fuel injection, and a lighter valve train, the turbos help this engine crank out 450 horsepower and 510 lbft of torque, increases of 75 horses and 40 lbft over the standard EcoBoost 3.5, which suddenly seems wimpy in comparison. More important, that's 39 horses and 76 lbft more than the old Raptor's 6.2 liter V8, gains that are immediately noticeable. This Raptor feels much quicker than its predecessor, and we expect it'll reach 60 miles per hour in the low 5 second range. With three overdrive gears, the 10 speed is above all a play for highway fuel economy, but its ratio spread does keep the twin turbo 6 in the meat of its power band, too. This transmission, however, is one of the Raptor's few weak points, despite the genuine magnesium shift paddles. Even under full throttle, it slurs shifts in normal mode. For quicker gear swaps, you have to use the mode switch on the steering wheel to toggle the truck into sport one of six available settings at which point those shifts occasionally are rather harsh. And, when cruising, every tow tip into the throttle reminds us what a big number 10 is, as the transmission shuffles down to find the necessary gear. We did find it amusing, though, that with the transfer case in low range, it's already in 5th gear by 15 miles per hour. A 5% reduction in aerodynamic drag helps the transmission elevate the Raptor's fuel economy from the old truck's 12 mpg city and 16 mpg highway to 15 18 mpg. The aero improvement is due not only to the new styling but also to automatic grille shutters and the air smoothing effect of skid plates which have an environmental benefit beyond simply reducing the incidences of 5W30 spilling out of rock-pierced oil pans. While a commercially available truck that can repeatedly enter and return from, extremely, low Earth orbit without undue harm is impressive, the Raptor's ability to do so is in no way surprising. That's what it's engineered to do. What is surprising is how well a vehicle with the suspension necessary to do so performs on pavement. The Raptor's roll control is simply excellent. Yes, the BF Goodrich All-Terrain T-AKO2 tires hinder the truck's paved road adhesion limits, but its behavior up until those limits is startling. It's a genuinely composed and comfortable cruiser, and it handles twisty roads far better than a Mustang would handle desert running. Of course, a Mustang doesn't have 34-inch tall, reinforced sidewall KO2S which, incidentally, are the reason the speed limiter is set so low mounted to optional beat lock ready 17-inch wheels. They look awesome.